guys, it is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and I am here with a new TGIF video. Um, I have a lot of things to show you today, so we will jump right into it. Today we're going to have some works in progress, nope, no works in progress, uh, finished objects and stash enhancement. Um, first I have the hat that I'm wearing is the Sweet William hat, it's a pay for pattern on Ravelry, you can find it in my project page. And mine is made out of Malabrigo Silky Merino. I don't have any works in progress because the only work in progress I have that I am like totally like really working on is Christian socks, which you saw last time. They haven't gotten much further than that. So we'll get right into finished objects. Oh, there's something on my foot. Um, first, I filmed a clip a few days ago because I had to get some things in the mail. Um, of a number of finished objects and I am going to put that right here so here is the me of the past so here are the things that I have already sent out in the mail to the people that I made them for first I have four teapot cozies and this is the first one I don't have a teapot that this one fits um, the top of the teapot goes in there some flowers on the top the buttons closed. I think they all button close. Um, these are all made out of Simply Soft. Three different colors of Simply Soft. Oh my goodness, it's chilly out here. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I cannot seem to get lighting correct. So I don't know what I'm gonna do all winter because I sure as heck cannot film outside in the free in the winter. This is the second one. This is also a free pattern on Ravelry. I like this one. Um, the, what is it called, holly leaves and the berries, I just freeform winged it. This is a pay for pattern on Ravelry, and as always, all the links can be found on my Ravelry page. And this one is a, not on, this one is a Santa hat, which I think this one's really cute too, I knit this one. And the final teapot cover took me forever. It's a pay pattern on Ravelry. It's a good pattern in terms of um, telling you how to make the pieces that you need and a suggestion on how to put it together. Um, I had to add more leaves for my aesthetic, um, but that is probably just me. But I will say, Every single thing is made individually. Every leaf is made individually. So this is the, the final one. As I said, it's a pay pattern on Ravelry. And I strung the bells onto the yarn and then crocheted them right into the leaves. And I'm going to sneeze. And the other thing I have to show you, you've seen before and you haven't seen before. And I just realized how lovely my hair looks. And this is a, um, a Baby Bernie's Mountain Dog hat for an order, which is my own pattern. And they wanted thumbless mittens to go with it. So I made these. And in these, I crocheted a hair elastic into them. Oh, gosh so that they would stay on baby sand. I think these are really stinking cute. So yeah. So I will now return you to Erin of the Future. So those things went in the mail and I believe they've all been received and I think everybody liked them. Um, but I do have one other finished object. As I showed you last time I got, um, I was given some another crafty girl and I knit a hat for Kristen and this is the Mat Magrel hat, Madgrel hat. It will be linked on my project page on Ravelry as soon as I get a picture after this video. Um, it's a pay for pattern on Ravelry, and right now there's a um, I don't know if you know about this, but on Ravelry there is a gift along going on, and if there's a group, just look up gift along, and there are a ton of patterns that you can get 25% off with the coupon code gift along, which I didn't know until after I purchased the pattern, but I bought some other ones to make for Christmas gifts for others and myself. So this is knit out of another Crafty Girl 
worsted, merino worsted in the Night Fury color. And this yarn is worsted weight, but it's knit at a DK gauge because I wanted to make sure that I didn't get a big yellow stripe down the hat. I wanted the yellow to go around the hat like it does. And I'm pleased with how it came out and it fits Kristen really well and she likes it. So that is all my finished objects. Um, I didn't mention it in previous videos because I wasn't sure it was going to happen, but yesterday I went to Stitches East and it was a lot of fun and I did a lot of shopping. Um, but I went with a list like I have been and um, for the most part I only bought what was on my list. So do you want to see what I got? Um, first, I did get to meet the crochet dude. I didn't buy any yarn this time because I still have some left over from um, when someone sent me some. Um, First, at the beginning of the video, uh, you saw a picture of me with the crochet dude. I did get to meet him. Um, I didn't buy any of his yarn. He really didn't have all that much, and I still have one skein here that I'm um, not waiting to use, but um, waiting for the right pattern to come along to make it. So this is the book that we got at Stitches, and I have to say... It was a little smaller than I anticipated. It was great. It was really great. And it took us almost all day to get through all of the vendors. But this looked like... This is the map. This looked like a lot more booths than um, what was in there. They said there were 200 plus booths. Which I'm sure there were. But, yeah. So, there's the book. The first stop we made was to, to the Scassel booth. And this wasn't a booth, this was just a booth to show um, some finished objects from the Fiber Factor. And if you're not watching the Fiber Factor, it's just at thefiberfactor.com. It is a competition of knitwear designers, and these are them, um, who are, they are knitting under a, a timed deadline to make all sorts of, they have the challenges, it's like Project Runway for knitting and I only found out about it because Margaret turned me on to it and I was excited because all of the garments from the fiber factor were there and you could touch them and feel them and I got to talk to Celia um, to find out that the patterns that I was really interested in either were available or were going to be available so the one pattern I was interested in was the the owl in one it's an owl onesie with a hood um, that I would like to make for my future niece or nephew and that one's already out and then there was a backpack that I really liked that isn't out yet but it will be out so I stopped there and that was really fun that was a lot of fun oh my gosh the next stop we made was I don't know the name of this store but they had these enormous skeins of yarn and they had a special going on they were eight dollars or four for twenty dollars so they ended up being five dollars each and they were eight hundred and fifty yards on average this one's a little bit more um, they have seventeen hundred yards per pound and this one is 0.59 pounds that most of them are just about a half a pound so I got eight because it was sparkle yarn and you can't get sparkle yarn near me um, and I had wanted to make some sparkle hats and I might give some to my nieces for Christmas but anyway so I got this black with silver this says that you're supposed to hand wash it and um, dry flat but it's one it's 95% acrylic and 5% metallic so I'm gonna wash I'm gonna say wash in the washing machine and well, I'll try this out, obviously. I always say to wash my things on delicate, but I'm going to say wash it and dry it flat or dry on the gentle cycle, dry on low. Um, and I'll see what happens, of course, before I do it. So I got black with, with silver sparkles. I got two of these because my um, high school colors are black and orange. 
This is black and orange with a gold sparkle in it. And I got two of these. And see, these. this one's .33 pounds, and this one is doesn't have weight, so. And I got, this one is .45 pounds. And this is a black with, I don't know, if, yeah, see, it has a black shimmer going through it. And I would say this is a very light worsted weight, so I might hold it double. Yeah, I would probably hold it double. I also got this greeny teal, and it has a teal shimmer in it. And I got pink, of course, with a silver... No. It's a pink shimmer going through that. And... I got a purple with a purple shimmer through it. I was thinking of making some Ziggy hats with these. And then this is my favorite, and it was the only one they had, and I, they even pulled out all the boxes to see if they had more. And this is a brown with um, a multicolor shimmer through it, which is really cool. Really, really neat. Okay, so the next place we walked around, the next place we went was Webb's, and this was one of the things... The sparkle yarn was not on my list. This was on my list, and I needed some new cables because one of my cables broke, and I never can have enough 32-inch cables for my needles. These are the, ne the needles I use for my interchangeables. They're Knitter's Pride. For my fixed circulars, I use Haya Haya Sharps. So I got those. Um, the Malabrigo booth was giving out this free pattern, which is really cute. And it has um, in here a whole different, a whole bunch of... Um, instructions on how to make it beanie slouchy super slouchy so I thought that was cool and if anybody's interested there's going to be a Malabrigo cruise in March um, the next stop was at the button place I always go to the button place first I got a circular stitch counter I just dropped a button and this one is in a navy blue I have a royal blue one and a red one I like to have different color ones in case I need two counts in the same row. So to find another color was great. I always am on the lookout for ones in different colors. And then I got nine pins. I got one that says, if I'm sitting, I'm knitting. Um, this one is because Kristen says it's about me. It's not true, but yarn snob, which is not true. I will knit with Red Heart just as soon as I would knit with um, Malabrigo. Life is sweeter with a bag full of yarn. A little piece of myself goes into everything I knit. You can never have too many socks. <laughs> this is my this is one of my favorites. Swatching is for sissies. Oh, swatches are for sissies. I knit for life, not just for Christmas. Um <laughs> this one's cute too. You mean exercise doesn't count as knitting or knitting doesn't count as exercise? And last but not least, I got armed with pointy sticks and I'm not afraid to use them. So I have a bulletin board up in my studio that um, all the buttons are on and um, I will, once I put them on, ah, you know what, right after I finish this I'll go take a picture with these on it and I will insert a picture of that here. So the buttons were on my list. The row counter was not on my list but as I said I'm always on the lookout for one in a different color. Whoa. The next thing was on my list. Um, literally, my list said cheap slipper yarn. I, I'm sure you know I felt slippers, and um, I want to make a pair for my sister, and I found cheap slipper yarn. I got four skeins of orange and a bulky. They said there's about 45 yards in this, and these were $2 a skein, which is a huge steal. I got four balls of this teal and it has a little bit of purple and green tones in it two dollars a ball and then this I don't know if it says how many yards are on this one 
This is 90 yards, so it's double the size, so I really didn't need to get as many. I got four of these, and these were $2 a skein. And this is from um, Harrisville Designs in Harrisville, New Hampshire. You should check them out. And if you're ever in the New Hampshire New Hampshire area, the, the mountains region, not the mountains region, the Monadnock region of um, New Hampshire, and you're looking for something to do, tour the Harrisville um studio because they make all their yarn and it's pretty pretty amazing they make yarn they make looms the dogs are going crazy but that's okay the next thing I found I saw which was not on my list but I have been looking for for a while were sock blockers now you guys have all seen these I bought these on eBay and he has all sorts of different ones. And he, this guy was at Stitches. I have a check. And I have been wanting a pair of Bernie's Mountain Dog ones. And he said, uh, a what? And I said, a Bernie's Mountain Dog. And he said, we don't have it, but we can make it. So um, for the same price at this show, he's going to make me a custom pair of Bernie's Mountain Dog's sock blockers and I sent him the silhouette of the burner that I wanted to use and um, I'm not sure how long it'll take but those will be coming to me in the future and I was really excited about those because I've been telling Kristen for year, two years now that I wanted to get a second set so the final thing that I got was we went to the line brand booth this was great so I got that, and I had been looking for some sport weight yarn, but I didn't want to go, I didn't want to spend a ton of mon money on it, because I just wanted to make um, myself a hat that I saw online. <coughs> it's called, I think it's called the Simple, Sca Simple Scallops, something like that. And you needed two colors of sport weight yarn, so I got four balls of the Lion Brand Collection 100% Superwash Merino, it has 306 yards in it, so it's a good. It's a good amount of yarn. It's a three, so a DK or a sport, probably closer to. I think a three is a sport, technically. Um, someone just jumped in the window. So I got four colors of it, and it looks like. Oh, it is color. I got ivory, and I got that to go with denim and I got I'm assuming this is black oh no it's night sky to go with peony I would have preferred a gray but they don't carry this they don't have this in gray and I told them they should and they said I wasn't the first one to say that so that's what I got and I I got a few things that were on my list a few things that were on my list they didn't have. Um, I try to, when I go to things like these, buy things that I can't get near me. Um, this They don't sell this near me, and I generally like to feel a yarn before I buy it, and this, this feels really nice. So that's all I have. I'm going to insert a couple more pictures at the end so you can have a look around um, and see what Stitches was like in Hartford, Connecticut. So I hope you're all doing well, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.